today's exercise, you have a total of uh, 10 items. Choose the letter of the best answer. Pause the video if you need more time. Let's start. For question number one, which of the following members of a food chain gets the least amount of energy? A. Rat B. Grass C. Snake D. Eagle You have 5 seconds. The correct answer is letter D. Remember that the top carnivores receive the least amount of energy compared to all other trophic levels. So in this illustration, we have the grass as the producer at the first trophic level. It is then eaten by the rat, which is then eaten by the snake. Then the snake is eaten by the eagle. Thus, the eagle actually receives the least amount of energy. Question number two. Which section of the brain is responsible for releasing growth hormones? A. Cortex B. Hypothalamus C. Pituitary gland D. Endocrine gland Time's up! The correct answer is letter C. Pituitary gland The pituitary gland is a structure in the brain that produces different types of specialized hormones, including growth hormone also referred to as human growth hormone or HGH. This actually influences our height and help build bones and muscles. All right. Question number three. What is the probability that a father with a heterozygous dominant trait and a mother with the same heterozygous dominant trait will produce an offspring with a recessive trait? A. Zero. B. Fifteen percent. C. 25% and D 100% The correct answer is letter C 25% When both the father and mother are heterozygous both parents will possess the same genotype consisting of one dominant allele which is your big letter T and one recessive allele the small letter T Doing the Punnett square we see three ways in which an offspring can exhibit a dominant trait, and there is one way for a recessive trait. This means that there is a 25% chance that an offspring will have the recessive trait. Question number four. In cooking, marinating is a process of soaking meats in a seasoned liquid made up of acids such as vinegar and citrus juice. How is chemical change exhibited in this process? A. The flavors in the acid infused in the meat. B. The acids unravel the proteins in the meat. C. The acids mix with the water to produce stronger flavors. And D. The vinegar and citrus juice break the sulfide bonds in the meat. The correct answer is letter B. The acids unravel the proteins in the meat. In other words, the acids break down the proteins. Marinating in acids such as vinegar or citrus juices has the effect of tenderizing or softening the meat. So, pinapalambut niya yung karne. Question number 5. Which is an example of a solution between two miscible liquids? A. Sand and mud B. Oil and alcohol C. Ethanol and water D. Gasoline and water The correct answer is letter C, ethanol and water. Miscible means capable of being mixed. You can definitely mix ethanol and water. In fact, rubbing alcohols are usually 70% ethanol and 30% water. Question number 6. Aliyah rode her motorbike from 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. If she drove at an average speed of 15 kilometers per hour, what was the total distance she covered? A. 15 kilometers, B. 22.5 kilometers, C. 30 kilometers, D. 37.5 kilometers. You have 5 seconds, but I'll give you 15 seconds because you need to compute for this item. The correct answer is letter C, 22.5 kilometers. Note that the formula for distance is D is equal to rate times time. 
15 km per hour multiplied with 1.5 hours, that's equal to 22.5 km. Let's move to question number 7. An astronaut picks up a stone on the moon and finds its mass to be 5 kg. If the mass of the Earth is 6 times more than the mass of the moon, what will be the mass and weight of the stone on Earth? A. 0 and 5 newtons B. 5 kilograms 5 newtons C. 5 kilograms 30 newtons Letter D. 30 kilograms 300 newtons Go! The correct answer is letter C, 5 kilograms and 30 newtons. Just remember here that the mass stays the same, thus whether you are on the moon or earth, the mass is still 5 kilograms. Mass refers to the amount of matter, whereas weight depends on the pool of gravity. So since the pool of gravity on earth is 6 times more than that of the moon, then the weight of the stone on earth is 30 newtons. Question number 8. Which simple machines can be found in a nail cutter? A. Wheel and axle B. Wedge and lever C. Screw and inclined plane D. Pulley and inclined plane The best answer is letter B. Wedge and lever So you can find the wedge on this part of the nail cutter and the lever on this part for the lever, the fulcrum is located here. Let's go to question number 9. Tina turns on the flashlight. The flashlight produces a beam of light. After a while, the flashlight felt hot. This illustrates A. Avogadro's Law B. Law of Definite Proportions C. Law of Conservation of Matter and D. Law of Conservation of Energy The correct answer is letter D, Law of Conservation of Energy. The Law of Conservation of Energy states that energy can neither be created nor destroyed. It is only converted from one form of energy to another. So in this case, when Tina turned on the flashlight, the chemical energy in the batteries is transformed to light energy and heat energy. Question number 10. Which of the statements best describes methane, water vapor, and carbon dioxide. A. They increase the humidity of the air. B. They are harmful to the environment. C. They increase the greenhouse effect on the atmosphere. And D. They all increase the size of the hole in the ozone layer. Go! Correct answer is letter C. They increase the greenhouse effect on the atmosphere. Major greenhouse gases include carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, and various synthetic chemicals. Note also that although water vapor accounts for 60 to 70 percent of the greenhouse effect and carbon dioxide accounts for only 25 percent, the temperature of the Earth's atmosphere is actually controlled by carbon dioxide and the other greenhouse gases. That's it. Thank you for watching.